G'day, you Nina on Facebook, how are you going? What are your thoughts on purchasing a block of units under a million dollars? Um, at that price, it needs to be outside of Brisbane. So take it, Yanina is living in southeast Queensland. Um, and she's given me some further information here. For example, say, looking at blocks of units that are around 10 years old all over Queensland, not super new, but tidy old brick units with three or four in the complex. Uh, I've included a screenshot here. One of them's going for offers over $6.99. And the rent she's given me in the screenshot is $900 per week. So, Yanina, if you're going to spend $699 or $700,000 plus costs and you're going to get $900 a week, that's a pretty strong transaction cash flow wise. So, if we do some quick math on that, $900 by 52 divided by $699, you're looking at a gross yield of 6.69% per annum before expenses and deductions and costs. So 6.69%, 6.7% is a pretty good cash flow, Yanina. But you do need to consider buying a whole block of units. Is that on one title? Is it strata title? Will the bank lend you 80 or 90% of the purchase? Or will the bank force you to have a 40 or 30% deposit because it's a unique title and all four units perhaps are on one title. Now also, if your maximum borrowing capacity is 700,000 and you put all of those eggs into that one asset and it's one title, for example, if the units were worth, what are we saying, seven here, they could have been worth 150 each, you can't sell off one unit if your circumstances change unless it's strata titled. So I would say be very, very careful speak with a licensed buyer's agent perhaps, or property investment advisor or expert, talk to your accountant, your financial planner, your broker. I wouldn't just be jumping in and going, that's really good rent, so it's a really good deal. You may be stuck with a lemon, and if it's all one title, and there's no body corporate as such, you could be left fixing an entire complex due to one issue, as opposed to one particular unit within four or five. So be very, very careful about that sort of investment. Make sure you get the right advice, make sure you do very thorough pest building inspections, reports, all that sort of jazz, and talk to the lenders before you sign a contract on a property like that.